a very good afternoon and a warm welcome to all the crypto enthusiasts. I would like to welcome you all for today's webinar. I'm Rekha Khan, your host for the webinar. And we have with us today, Mr. Harman Puri, expert on crypto and blockchain joining us. Today, we are gonna to be talking about the opportunities, challenges and applications in the metaverse ecosystem. On joining, you would notice that you all are in mute. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, please write them on the chat section. At the end of the webinar, we would be holding a Q&A session where all the queries of the participant would be answered by Harma. From the creator of Odin, MCX and IEX, here is yet another credible and exchange neural platform a user can rely on while walking towards the path of crypto and blockchain understanding. Starting from education to knowledge to all the latest news, all covered under one super app, CryptoWire. From a novice to a professional trader, every market participant can have a slice of information readily available on the touch of their fingers. Let me first walk you through the world's first crypto university, crypto TV and crypto wire services. We all know that crypto and blockchain ecosystem is emerging at an immense speed. And to keep a track of all the events, prices and news, look to be difficult. So what if we have an app like our buddy who walks with us, thinks like us and responds to what we expect? Yes, you heard it right. Our own global crypto super app, CryptoWire. Let me take you through the app briefly. Let's start with the homepage of the app, which covers all the three pillars, Crypto University, Crypto TV and Crypto Wire Services. Under the Crypto Wire Services, we have rolled out India's first global index of cryptos, IC15. It tracks the performance of the top 15 cryptocurrencies globally based on market capitalization. Crypto enthusiasts and crypto traders can take informed decisions based on IC15. Coming to Wirewatch, in this section, we can monitor the best opportunity to buy a particular cryptocurrency and a and sell a particular cryptocurrency. In the center of the screen, we can monitor the arbitrage opportunity available between the two exchange for the same cryptocurrency. There are more than 350 plus cryptocurrencies listed on our platform, along with 70 plus crypto exchanges worldwide. Coming to Crypto TV, it's an exclusive 24 by seven mobile IP covering everything on crypto and blockchain ecosystem. It is currently available in four different languages, English, Hindi, Gujarati, and Marathi. Coming to Crypto University, being the world's first digital university to offer courses on crypto and blockchain, you can find the best courses offered by MIT and University of Michigan at a single click in the app. With this, I would like to introduce the speaker for today, Mr. Arman Puri. He is going to be introducing us to today's topic. Mr. Arman Puri has over four years of experience in the blockchain and crypto space. He's a very active member contributing in a big way in the blockchain space. Arman is a co-founder of Blockting, which is a blockchain marketing company listed as one of the top upcoming blockchain and crypto startups by the India Blockchain Forum. He has played a very important role as Asgard Dao, a community-owned decentralized financial infrastructure where he is an advisor for the upcoming Metaverse project and Authentium being their India ambassador. In the past, he has acted as the Indian ambassador for Niku. He is part of the area advisory board member for Amity University, one of the biggest university in India. He has acted as a DLT expert for Instimatch Global, which is an award-winning Swiss fintech and blockchain consultant for many companies. Join me in welcoming Mr. Arman. Hi, Arman. Welcome to the session today. Hello. Thank you for uh, such a warm welcome. Hi, everyone. Uh, glad to be here uh, and welcome all. So uh, without any further ado, I'll uh, love to get into uh, things related to metaverse. So as the topic of today suggests uh, opportunities, challenges in the metaverse. So uh, I'm going to divide this session into two parts. Number one, a little bit about metaverse, how it all came together and what's the importance of it. And number two, uh, about, you know, uh, my perspective on opportunities and challenges in it. 
obviously uh, metaverse is a very new uh, you know nascent uh, field and uh, there cannot be anyone in the world who can be sure about where metaverse is headed or what's going to happen in the coming few years right so what i'm going to share with you is something that i believe in what i've seen in the industry uh, when i talk to people in uh, ue region in us in uh, other parts of the world when they are interacting with metaverse projects when they are building metaverse projects when they are funding metaverse projects what they have in mind so i'm just just going to share you uh, thoughts that these people have in the industry that are actually doing this stuff and obviously the rest is uh, you know uh, uh, unlikely to fold quite soon so uh, i would love to be uh, like make this session as interactive as possible you guys can drop chat messages as frequently as you want uh, oh. keep the session short so that there is more of a q and a where i can help everyone clear their queries or answer a few questions and make it more interesting okay absolutely so i'll just share my screen let me know when it's sure. visible Yeah, it's visible. Great. So first of all, what is metaverse? Uh, see, before getting into metaverse, uh, like I have been told that most of the people here in the audience know a little bit about Web3, crypto and blockchain. So I'll just do a small recap. Web 3.0, as we know, it, is uh, the next, you can say, a wave of digitalization where we cannot just see uh, information, but own information as well. In a very simple definition, Web 3.0 is a space where we own our own data, right? Where we are the owner of the data that we produce on the internet. For example, uh, Web 1.0 started with us uh, just doing a few things on internet. Web 2.0 allowed us to share, for example, in YouTube, in Instagram, in Facebook. And then Web 3.0, where we can monetize each and everything without any third party. And how that happens is with the advent of blockchain. So blockchain, uh, at, as we know, it is kind of like at the center of all these. So it's the technology, which again, people say it's revolutionary, but in essence, it's just a combination of a few other technologies. It's a concept which was not possible before, but has been, you know, has come to like recently, just like NFTs that we hear every day, that digital images that we can buy and create just like digital art which doesn't seem to surprise us because we have been buying and selling digital images before as well. But NFTs, what makes them different is that the underlying technology, which is blockchain. So all these terms, Web 3.0, blockchain, NFTs, if we take a closer look at them, they are not revolutionary, but they are innovative uh, technologies, which have allowed us to create a next wave of digitalization, as people call it, fourth industrial revolution and other stuff, right? So any fancy term can be used to give them a title. But overall, together, these technologies have allowed many other concepts to come to fruition, right? For example, this NFTs, they are becoming a reality because blockchain existed and blockchain existed because someone thought of creating a decentralized ledger with cryptographic algorithms, with hashing and other stuff and consensus algorithm, right? So now when it comes to metaverse, so it's not a very new term. People have been talking about it for long. Uh, we have seen uh, the Matrix as a movie. We have seen other movies where people get into the gaming uh, reality and lose their self. For example, a movie Tron that came a little while back and Matrix is the oldest movie, right? And there are other movies and other concepts. So metaverse as a concept is not new, but as a technology, as a reality, it is now uh, came, uh, come to fruition. Why? Because of the new technologies that are there. So together, Web 3.0, blockchain, NFTs, these are just one part. Uh, if we see development in different industries, for example, augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, and then if we see uh, development in networks like 5G, right? So we can understand that it's very, uh, you can say coincidental that all of these technologies have uh, become a reality at a certain point of time and together they have formed this metaverse. So metaverse in simple words, it's a digital world where you can own what you are doing 
and you can interact with people just like you do in a regular world right so uh, right now sitting here we are doing a chat right uh, this is a uh, webinar let's say and this is what web 2.0 looks like web 1 1.0 was radio right i was speaking and people were listening but they cannot see me web 2.0 we can see we can interact with each other real time we can share information web 3.0 uh or metaverse we can all sit in a room it doesn't matter someone is in bangalore someone is in pune someone is in us in uae or wherever but we all are sitting in a room and it feels like we are in the same room right so it's a concept of mixed reality wherein we feel like the real world is replicated in the virtual world or the virtual world is replicated in the real world like there's a very thin line between a virtual reality and the real real reality right so that's basically what metaverse is coming to the different technologies that like i was just talking about number 1 uh 5g so because 5g is here sharing information in metaverse is much more easier and that's what's making metaverse possible as well as a concept for example if you had a 2g network uh, remember the time back in 2007 or 10 Uh, you have a 2G network. You want to download one simple MP3 song of 3 MB, and you have to wait 10 minutes for it. Then came 3G, then came 4G. Right now, you want to download. You just click, and it gets downloaded. Five, ten MB is not a big deal now. And at that time, you used to get 100 MB data per day. Now you are getting 1000 MB or you know 5 GB, 10 GB, whatever you want. So similarly, if we want to take this a step further, if we want to, you know. kind of like portray ourselves in a digital world then it needs a humongous amount of data to be transferred which cannot be done with existing networks and hence with the invention of 5g that was made possible now that 5g is here the biggest challenge is metaverse that how this huge amount of data can be shared or transported in the normal or in the public domain that has been solved so that's the one puzzle part you know that 5g has solved for metaverse second uh without getting into much details the concept of augmented reality virtual reality mixed reality it has been evolving over time for the past decade people have been experimenting a lot with iot devices uh with uh gog vr goggles and we have been going to malls and seeing this new goggles that allow us to experience a different kind of world right which is very new concept for many people right and when you see this stuff at malls usually uh, you know 100 rupees 200 rupees ticket for 30 minutes they just put the goggles on and allow you to uh, try out some virtual reality kind of thing these things have been evolving you couldn't find them 10 years back you are finding them i think from 2 3 years now right and it has been evolving slowly same goes for augmented reality india has not been that much uh, aware of uh, the developments in augmented reality but companies like microsoft uh have been experimenting a lot and they have reached really good things uh classic example uh, i'll be sharing in a different uh few flights uh so augmented reality is basically when you project something in the real world for example the pokemon go game that we all played uh crazily uh i think 2 3 years back so what happened was you just point your phone screen at a particular location and you will see a pokemon there present that's augmented reality which means that certain digital elements are present in the real world scenario in the real places compared to that virtual reality is that uh you go to any rrpg game a uh, role playing game uh, you go into as an avatar for example a game like need for speed or vice city you enter as an avatar and you start playing right so virtual reality is a little bit different from that it allows you to actually feel that uh, experience to be more immersive in that experience and then finally all of this development led to the uh, inception of mixed reality wherein we cannot differentiate between the real world and the digital world so it kind of like let's say you create a facebook profile what you do you enter your details uh, that i am a um, 30 year old person uh, living in uh, amritsar or uh, doing this stuff right and that creates your profile on facebook but what if you create an avatar that represents you 
that represents each and every uh, thing that you are doing in the real world that becomes a mixed reality where you represent your physical self in the digital world <clears throat> sorry so mixed reality is the founding stone for metaverse in essence right uh, virtual reality augmented reality mixed reality and extended reality these are the four things that you will most commonly hear but it doesn't matter much to dive deep into that because this is something that eventually uh, we will use without actually knowing what it is for example tcp protocols or for example that like http everyone writes http on their web browser but i think only uh, 2% 3% people know about that right in the world so it doesn't matter what these technologies are because eventually we want to experience it then comes the final part of metaverse which is blockchain and nfts so when you uh, think of any digital asset right for example in real world if we are doing a meeting if you want to shake hand and exchange uh, let's say a phone number we can do that in digital world how you want to connect with each other you need a digital identity for that right uh, it's not like you can use your name and uh, the other person can find you digitally you have a digital identity address or something like that then at the same time in real world when you meet someone you want to give a gift <clears throat> what you do is you find something you pack it up and you give it to them right so in real world it is simple we have been doing it for thousands of years right so what happens in the digital world you give these kind of gifts in the form of nfts see this is where things are progressing one year two year back no one even knew what nfts was right it was just uh, a random concept that came in 5 uh, years ago and for the last 2 years it has been in the headline so now that metaverse is a reality nfts become the digital asset that we can give each other in the metaverse and all of this information is going to come together when we talk about opportunities and challenges because eventually if you know what metaverse is about if you know what elements metaverse has you can understand the opportunities that you can uh, you know then explore so just a random scenario let's assume that we are sitting in a meeting room there are 10 people everyone wants to hold a cup of coffee and wants to talk to each other right now this physical space let's replicate in the metaverse now imagine 10 people are sitting in a round table conference in a metaverse right each one having their own cup of coffee which they can actually feel right they can lift it from the table <clears throat> sorry just a minute yes so as i was saying let's say there are 10 people sitting on a round table in a uh, metaverse and everyone wants to hold a cup of coffee lift the cup of coffee off the table and then put it back or whatever right so this cup of coffee that is in your hand that represents represents a digital asset in real world we don't call it an, as an asset because it's just a cup of coffee for us right but eventually it's a materialistic thing harman sorry to uh, cut you short uh, just that uh, your video is again got off and you know when we upload this on the youtube channel it becomes okay. a little tacky okay. that was going well. on the video okay got it thank you great uh, yes so as i was saying just uh, cutting it short and moving to the next part so basically everything that we touch in the metaverse everything that we share in the metaverse it can be represented as a digital asset and for that to happen we need a technology called blockchain web 3.0 and nfts as a concept then further when you interact with someone in real life you go to a shop and buy something you exchange money <coughs> the same thing you can't do in a metaverse right you can't exchange money directly you can't exchange fiat currency so what you do you exchange cryptocurrency or digital currency so this is how everything is coming together uh the invention of all these new concepts defi loans uh new banking solutions or uh, daos autonomous organizations all things are coming together to form a digital world which is not just something called as a metaverse but actually a digital reality right so by definition if people think of metaverse they say it's a virtual reality where you can uh, feel like a real world but actually it's a world where you can replicate your own self right and for that to happen you need to understand different technologies that's where we come to the opportunities and challenges in metaverse uh, firstly just a 
brief that I can give. So the term metaverse, it can be tracked back to Neil uh, Stephenson, uh, right? This was back in, I think, 1990 or even before that. So I don't remember the exact year. Uh, at that time, he uh, termed the word, named the term metaverse, creating it as a new reality that it can be a virtual world. And that's why all these movies and all the concepts are based on that, right? So what he said was like any place in reality, uh, the street is subject to development. People can build their own streets. Uh, people can build parks, signs, and do things that exist in the normal reality, right? So you can take your dog out to walk. Obviously, you'll have to clean up in your home only afterwards. So when can we expect to see it? Uh, that's again a key question that we want to answer right away. Uh, metaverse as of now, it's very uh, in, a, in a nascent stage as we, said, uh, as we all know. Uh, some people say it takes five to 10 years as Mark, Bucker, Mark Zuckerberg has said, but other people say maybe two or three years with the kind of development that we are having, acceleration of development. Many companies have been targeting it. Many companies have been experimenting with it. When you hear uh, terms like sandbox, uh, a, a place where you know people are using metaverse and playing games that's a early stage of metaverse that not an exact metaverse that is expected to become right so for the complete uh, matrix kind of experience we are still 5 10 years uh, behind schedule but eventually uh, if the kind of imagination that has been put in our mind that metaverse is something where we just sit on our table and do everything and at the end of the day, when the power goes off or the internet stops, then we sleep and come back. That is not here. And that won't be here for a long time, right? Right now, the major aspect in metaverse is play to earn games, uh, run to earn, box to earn, cycle to earn. So different kind of X to earn games. Uh, there is interaction. Then there are a lot of technical uh, restrictions. Even if there is a metaverse where people can interact, with the current technological restrictions, only five to 10 people at a single time can interact. So when you wear a, a AR, VR goggles and you walk in the metaverse to talk with other people, it's the technology can only support five, 10 or 15 people at the very max at the single time. So with this kind of uh, restrictions, how can the whole world be in metaverse, right? And if only 10, 15 people are in the metaverse, then it's, it's no use to everyone, right? So maybe small meetings can be held. People can do meetings. Maybe people can uh, meet in long distance relationships, but no uh, major application that can happen in the near future. So uh, what can you do in a metaverse? Right now, these are the main aspects that are happening. Uh, make a virtual property. There are applications like a plan where people are building properties and buying properties and stuff. Then earn money by investing in NFTs. So every opportunity that comes in Metaverse, it will be related to NFTs, either directly or indirectly. We'll come back to that. Uh, number three, advertise anything. Uh, so since you have an audience which is there to play and they have the spending power, you can advertise anything. You can create an environment and customize it yourself. Uh, you can create your own comfort zone. Uh, people have been building their small offices to interact with other people. Uh, you can have your own digital properties. It is the new asset class. Even though there is a lot of taxation related issues, digital properties are still holding a very big uh, portion and people are investing actively. So it's again, something that can be tried, but obviously with complete research and guidance. Then buy and sell unique assets again, something uh, that can hap happen with complete research, uh, not uh, advised otherwise. Uh, express yourself through customizable avatars, meet people. There are applications in Metaverse. Uh, I don't remember the names. So they allow you to join a party in a small uh, space by wearing a set of glasses. Then there is a Metaverse called Animal Kingdom which allows uh, musicians and other performers to perform in a, a virtual reality world. Then you can socialize and make new friends, just like you do on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, you can socialize in the metaverse space as well. And then finally, shopping uh, or, uh, you know, buying virtual products, uh, suggesting virtual products to other people. So 
I'm not sure if you have tried recently uh, Flipkart, Amazon, these applications have released uh, kind of like an uh, application in your phone only that if you are trying to buy a furniture, they ask you to scan your wall and you can place your furniture there and see how it looks. Right. So yeah. That's that's reality. Exactly. I think there are a few um, salons and, uh, you know, even beauty products which offer these, uh, have these offerings there. Yes. So if you want to buy, a, let's say, outfit, if you want to buy a wall clock, if you want to buy a bed, you can test it in real time, you know, and that is something which is amazing. But this is, you can say, the baby step of metaverse. It's going to be much more immersive later on. So that's the uh, overall uh, thing. So companies that are working, Meta, Microsoft are just the top of the iceberg. Uh, but there are many companies working in metaverse. We have an extensive list uh, and, you know, more and more development and innovation is going on. So the main uh, part uh, where we want to focus is the pros and cons of metaverse. Uh, pros, you can travel the world, you can see things, you can actually feel things, not just the 4K video on your uh, TV, which seems amazing, right? 15, 20 years back, you would have a, a uh, big Samsung TV with, uh, you know, no experience at all, just a moving picture. And right now, even 4K seems, uh, in, you know, incom incomplete uh, because of Metaverse. So uh, increasing technology literacy, uh, because of Metaverse, people have started understanding what blockchain NFT is, what crypto is, what digital money is, what uh, digital identity is, digital theft is, all of this stuff. And connecting with new people, uh, it's great for introverts without leaving their house. Uh, it's and the job market in metaverse, it's amazing. So right now, it's a crypto bear run. Uh, the industry slowed down. Many companies are being shut down. Many investors have stopped investing. It's a again a dry run for crypto for a few months or maybe a year or so. But at the same time, metaverse doesn't show any sign of stopping people are bullish on metaverse it is definitely the next wave of digitalization and something which everyone of us will experience in a few years so the job opportunities are endless right so uh, the cons of metaverse as uh, as obvious they can be privacy and security implications are there not everyone is uh, informed enough to be secured in the metaverse uh, not everyone is taught enough, not everyone is educated enough in terms of digital technologies. Uh, people who are doing, uh, not doing BTEC, they might not know a lot of stuff about how NFTs and blockchain work, right? And then there is a, a biggest con, reducing the difference between real and virtual world, uh, which again, by time will be realized if it is actually a con or something that can be explored. So skipping to uh, the part of opportunities in metaverse, which is kind of like a little bit interesting. So over the past uh, few months, I have seen two or three job profiles that were very uh, exciting for me and uh, very uh, interesting as well. Number one, the profile was uh, a food metaverse expert, someone who would go in the metaverse and tell other people how they can taste this food, what kind of taste this food has and why they should eat it, right? So the more expressive you are, the more you understand the technology, the more you can communicate with people, you can take that position. Second was a fashion designer or a fashion, uh, like a person who suggests fashion, right? So you can go in the metaverse, you can help other people try out different dresses, you can help them, exp you can explain them that, okay, this is an outfit, this color matches with this color, it will look good. Right. This was the second type of job opportunity that I saw. And third was a, a person who would sell properties in the metaverse, who would explain how to buy the certain property. So point of telling you these opportunities that there is no status quo in terms of metaverse opportunities. You can apply for absolutely anything like these are just a very basic kind of things that I was suggesting, obviously, in terms of development roles, there are game developers, there are NFT developers, there are blockchain developers, there are front-end, back-end developers. In terms of designers, there are UI UX designers, there are 
animation designers uh graphic designers and uh, you know other kind of designers that are required and in terms of conceptualization experts are required who can understand the technology and create a concept in terms of uh, business development people are required who can form partnerships who can uh, cater to investors who can reach out to investors who can build the network of the metaverse so any role that you are doing in real life right now it can be done in the metaverse so i'll i'll just give you an example i started my career as a uh, blockchain developer but before that i used to write blogs so i used to write blogs as a freelance thing and i just did a specialization of blogs in uh, blockchain domain and web 3.0 domain and that used to pay me 5x than it was in the normal domain so whatever you are doing if you specialize it with blockchain crypto or metaverse the same skill set can give you 5x or even much more right so it's not like to get into the metaverse you have to go through uh, rigorous training you have to understand all the deep technological concepts you have to have a lot of experience and meet with industry experts or uh, attend workshops and seminars and uh, you know go through all the digital stuff you can learn that but the main thing is if you learn the basic of metaverse if you understand how your job profile fit into that metaverse how you what you are doing right now the same thing you can do in the metaverse that's enough it won't require an extra step so i think uh, with that i would like to conclude uh, these are the opportunities as well as challenges if any specific opportunity you want me to talk about you can always ask in the chat i'll be happy to uh, talk about that but overall from my perspective uh, every opportunity every challenge it's just as the same as the current common uh you know normal life that we are having uh in the real life if i am doing content writing i can be a content writer in the metaverse i can write content for metaverse companies i can write content for uh virtual worlds inside the virtual world and that will just uh, be sufficient for me great thank you so much sharman uh there are a few questions which have come in so i think we can since uh you're done with the presentation we can go on with uh, discussing the questions uh so the first question that is coming uh, is uh, how will the metaverse unfold the and unfold and transform enterprises okay so uh, again let's take an example for that so recently i guess jp morgan opened a bank in the metaverse right so it's one of the biggest enterprises uh, a financial institution that we know so it's a big name brand so why did jp morgan open a bank in the metaverse so they are doing pretty good in the normal world right so with the evolve evolving digital world these companies have to stay uh, you know uh, in the loop let's say if your company didn't use email before email there was posts right if your company didn't use email your company would have lost it it would have uh, become a dinosaur in its uh, industry right and other companies would have taken it forward so number one enterprises are very keen on metaverse because they don't want to lose out number two uh, after this covid era uh, i have seen many companies shifting to complete uh, remote working space as many of us have right even we experience every day that like we are completely into the co working space or a remote working space right so this is again a reason why companies are adopting metaverse as well and metaverse will help them as well uh, metaverse is allowing companies to become more connected without actually traveling to office every day right so employee benefits employee uh, you know uh, reducing their time and space uh, reducing the travel time reducing the money spent in rentals or other technologies or other uh, amenities that we get so that's one part uh, one uh, you know incentive for companies to go with metaverse but the most important thing that companies and enterprises are going with metaverse is that metaverse is allowing them to explore a new side to evolve further and to grow further for example let's say a simple very very simple fruit vendor he is selling fruit on the uh, you know uh, street and he gets maybe 10 customers a day with metaverse he can get maybe 1000 customers a day if he has the same uh, you know uh, he opens a shop in a virtual world where people can actually come and see okay this is a good fruit they can order and he can send 
same goes for let's say a company like amazon right so amazon started with an application amazon and flipkart then they opened small stores in some cities right where you can go you can see stuff you can scan and it gets added to your cart and then they send it to your home now people don't even want to leave their houses as a customer experience right and industry is becoming more and more customer centric day by day so what's the best way to get more customers make them as comfortable as they want to be just make them uh, you know uh, experience everything in their uh, home on sitting on their bed and you get the customer so one of the reasons why jp morgan opened a bank uh, in the digital space is no one wants to travel to a bank and then ask uh, you know for an application for loan or some stuff right what if you go to your online uh, jp morgan site and you go to the metaverse you go to a bank and you just apply there get all the information there in real time by a person sitting in front of you so yeah that's one point thank you uh, pratik joshi has uh, pratik i would request you to kindly uh, elaborate a bit more on the question when will it start I'm a little clueless on that uh, however there is one question that is coming from sham and uh, he would want to know how to become a metaverse developer i was interested in character sketching and drawing so do you have any tips for sure sham? so uh, see sham uh, you don't exactly want to be a metaverse developer development means that you know uh, game development you know unity development unity is used for developing games which is commonly used for metaverse you know solidity language node js react js devops all of that right and since you are into character development getting into that side of thing will take a lot of time of yours and that's not a time that we have in nowadays with our lives right so the same character development obviously can go into metaverse development i think that's what your question is also about uh metaverse uh, see it depends on concept to concept for example i worked with a metaverse project called asgard dao where it was based on nordic mythology that thor and loki and zeus and those kind of characters and when i was with their team one of the biggest challenges that they faced was how to develop an original character so they had the complete gaming team they had the complete development team they had an advisory board they had funding they had coin everything but when they when the, you know uh, topic came to development of character they were clueless so you see your profile plays a very important role in the metaverse theme if you know how to develop a, a theme based character for a particular game or a particular reality then definitely you have a very big chance in the metaverse it will be a very a big learning curve initially it's not companies are not so open to new people directly but there is a very big gap in the market so eventually everyone is looking for people who can develop or create good characters so my suggestion is just create a good portfolio keep creating characters keep experimenting with a few characters uh, with their lighting and all of the adjustments and then you apply for a, a you know metaverse designer position any company that you want sure thank you arman uh, now there is a question that has come in from veshali Uh, any free courses or resource recommended for metaverse vaishali i would uh, suggest that you also download crypto wire there is a lot of resource material that you will get on metaverse and arman i would request you to kindly guide her as well sure sure absolutely so uh, in terms of learning about metaverse uh, i'll suggest go over any resource that you can find on the internet see uh, back in 2018 when i started learning about web3 and crypto i couldn't find anything yeah. and eventually what i had to do was every data point that i found every article every blog that i could find i just read through that and it helped me understand concept by concept it took some time one thing that i avoided was big courses with very big amount of money requirement right they are not going to give you any kind of uh, output right so avoid big big courses big big certifications where you spend your hard earned money uh, try finding free resources first youtube videos and uh, blogs and other stuff that would be enough i can guarantee and that's exactly where we also come into picture we create a lot of information um, from the industry and make sure that we 
you know update all this news and updates there's a lot of industry expert videos also which are uploaded on uh, our youtube channel crypto tv uh, however uh, you can definitely download crypto wire and get more information uh, there is one more question that has come in ajay would like to know is metaverse in function or still in development uh it is going to be still in development for a lot of years now right uh, so it's going to be in function in part by part uh, so it's it's more like you know a metaverse is like a child it's growing uh, you can play with it uh, eventually it will grow and uh, help you play uh, bigger games but currently it's in an infant stage so all you can do is you can hold out a toy and play in front of it but uh, if you want to play cricket with it later on then you'll have to wait a few years uh yep yeah. i think uh, ibrahim has raised his hand and he would like to ask something ibrahim if you could be kind enough to type your question on the chat section would be really helpful uh also i would uh, the vishali is thank you arman and uh, uh harsimar has said that we need to have more sessions like this <laughs> thank you sure we will uh, and the session was helpful arman that's what he mentioned uh, so i think there's no other questions that have come one sec there's one question how and in what way will the metaverse how and in what way will the metaverse change the world uh that's that's asking like you know why god like a broad it. question yeah, <laughs> yeah. so uh see uh, the main thing that we can observe right away is that uh, metaverse will help us be more connected so if i ask you a question how facebook changed your life you know if if you were a 90s kid you know uh, born in early 90s how facebook changed your life you uh, wake up every day you are able to connect with anyone uh, that you talk to no no matter where they are sitting you are able to get on a video call with them and it's basically like even if you haven't met in 5 years you still feel connected after 5 years you can connect with each other and meet and it won't feel like you know you haven't uh, met any time so it's it change your life it change how we live right so metaverse is a step further right so metaverse will be like you are not meeting after 5 year meeting every day uh what is the what is driving the growth of metaverse paneet the that's an interesting question because uh see obviously it's number one i believe it's the thirst for uh, advancement right uh, the basic human nature that we want to find out more build more and uh, you know if we have reached to the moon we want to go to mars and then jupiter and then further right we want to explore the universe and same way for metaverse Uh, if we have built video calls video chats and uh, you know we have built this uh, platforms like zoom and meets and all then what's the next step how further can we go and that's what's driving uh, the most of metaverse but most importantly it's the need of people right uh, all the new technologies they are built on the comfort or uh, the demand by people uh, we uh, need such technologies to uh, further you know experience more stuff according to the changing world and that's what is driving all the investment all the uh, innovation and development in this space sure thank you uh vaishali has a question is the metaverse technology owned by facebook as its name says meta uh, no uh, so uh metaverse as a technology is not owned by anyone it's a concept everyone will so it's it's like you know uh, saying that uh, so you understand that facebook is a different platform uh, instagram is a different platform but owned by facebook well anyway so twitter is a different platform you can chat with people or interact with people and linkedin is a different platform so all of these platforms allow you to interact with people socialize and chat with people right and post stuff but they are not owned by a single authority same way metaverse is a concept Uh, just like social media is a concept and metaverse will be in different forms which will be owned by different companies sure pratik joshi i am extremely sorry i did not get your question it was not uh, we didn't mean to laugh at you or something uh, i think pratik had uh, put in a message when will it start so the question was like open ended we did not realize what he was trying to say 
I'm extremely sorry if you felt offended for that. Uh, so, uh, I think, you know, maybe your question is when will Metaverse start? So, it's no starting date. Uh, you can think of it like uh, when will your day start, right? Uh, so, whenever the sun rises, whenever it's complete, whenever Metaverse is complete, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. People will start anyway, right? Uh, again, as I said, it's like an infant. You can play with it right now, however it is. And later on, when it grows, you keep playing, right? Absolutely. Uh, Prashant would like to know how can a stop work in metaverse because physically nothing can be presented there. How? I'm, I'm sorry. How can a fruit shop work in metaverse? Okay. So, uh, how does a car work in a GTA Vice City? Right. It's a simulation. So even a fruit shop in a metaverse, see, uh, the thing is that we are not able to understand this because our imagination is limited to a uh, 2D world, right? To web 2.0. So let's say uh, some years back, there was this uh, concept that in theaters, there are 5D seats or 7D seats that whenever there's a rain in front of you, it feels like it's raining on you. And whenever the screen is moving, your chair moves with it, right? So this is where the metaverse is added without uh, this stuff actually being present there. You can feel it, right? You can maybe connect it with your nervous system later on. Who knows, right? So if you pick up a fruit and you say it's an apple because your mind knows that it's an apple, right? It can feel it. What if the computer can give you that feeling and you feel like it's an apple, right? So again, uh, anything can be possible in that aspect, right? Sure. Uh, next up, we have a question from Tim Tim. What is the best metaverse right now? How to use it? So, uh, there is no best metaverse right now. Everyone is at a, uh, early stage exploring animal concerts is one, uh, sandbox is a good, uh, place to start. It's a good metaverse. Uh, so you can start with that if you want, uh, then you can explore, uh, Axie infinity. It's a gaming world, but you can think of it as a building stone for metaverse and understand a little bit. Sure. Thank you. Ramesh has raised his hand and he has a question. What is the best blockchain for metaverse? Again, uh, uh, there's no best blockchain. It's still an early stage. You know, uh, Ethereum is the most common blockchain that has been used for metaverse projects, Ethereum and Polygon. Uh, there are other blockchains that can be used, Avalanche, Algorand, uh, uh, theta and and plenty more like solana is also being used for metaverse but no one knows how much and cosmos is there polkadot is there eventually uh just like you say uh there are different cars with different engines uh, there will be different metaverses with different engines and these engines are the blockchains with their different consensus algorithms right so any blockchain can be suitable for a metaverse depending on the use case if it's a metaverse for a public use case where you want to create fruit shops and vegetable shops, maybe Ethereum is the right option. But if it's a metaverse where transactions are more, maybe Polygon is the right option. And if it's a metaverse where we want to connect everyone everywhere, right? Maybe Cosmos is a better option. So again, uh, it depends on the use case. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim Rahim has uh, mentioned that he we have a multi-component metaverse project in development and we're going for seed funding right now. Do you have any advice for us on fundraising and can you suggest any potential VCS air investors to pitch to? I would suggest Ibrahim that you should connect with Arman uh, on a one-to-one -one and probably get more information on this. I'm sure Arman will help you out. Please reach out to me on LinkedIn. Uh, you yeah. can search Arman Puri and I'll be happy to help. Absolutely. Uh, then we have a question come in from Ajoy. Can you tell us uh, about Web5, which Jack Dorsey said some days back? Right. It's rubbish. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so it's again like that 5D and 7 in theaters that was, uh, you know, a concept a few years back. Just a passing phase. It doesn't need to be a, a topic for discussion. So it's, it's just, they want to, you know, uh, create hype and uh, build reputation, but let's focus on web three only. That's the only concept which is actually there. 
How do you see in the next five year people would be shifting into the metaverse? Again, a question from Ajay. Uh, so, see, it depends largely upon the technology, uh, technical advancements and adoption among the people. Uh, I, I, not me, but I, I don't think you can even see AR, VR glasses getting so, sold at the nearest Kriana shop, right? So it's going to take a lot of time. Five years is not that much longer time. But yes, in five years, people are going to become more aware. Many people are going to start use. The developed countries, they are going to be uh, the front runners in this. They'll be having a lot of uh, audience or user base in Metaverse. And eventually, country like ours in India, uh, it will take time. But yes. so Last question, but not the least. Can you elaborate the application of property buying in Metaverse? Is there... Any applications that you would suggest? Okay. Uh, so I don't know many applications that allow property buying. There is upland that is there. Uh, there are other uh, applications where you can even build a virtual land or 2.0 that you can build yourself and sell. So the only thing is that uh, it's very risky affair. Uh, if you are putting your hard-earned money into a virtual boy, be sure you understand each and every aspect. Uh, there are a lot of macro factors also in play. Uh, you never know when anything gets banned or when, when there are taxation involved and eventually you, you lose all of your money, right? Speaking from recent experiences. So you should be aware about everything and you should be able to take that risk. Do not put all your money at risk at all. And buying and selling virtual land, it's just like, you know, uh, going to uh, eBay or Amazon and buying and selling your stuff, right? So it's just that with a better experience. So you there's just a learning curve of how decentralization works, right? You should understand how, what are digital assets, what are the laws related to digital assets and what are the pros and cons of trading digital assets. When you understand that, Metaverse is just a place where digital assets are traded. So it's fine. Sure. Prashant is the last question. What is the earning potential monthly here? A lot. No bar, okay? So uh, I know people who used to earn 10, 15,000 per month in normal uh, work that they did and shifting to metaverse, they used to earn 80, 90,000 or even 1.5 lakhs. So it matters a lot, right? So it depends whatever work you do and how good you are at it. Uh, there is no limit. Cool. I think that's the last question that we had and there are no more questions. Sarman, it was great interacting with you. Uh, we had a great time today and I would like to thank you for the interesting uh, session and the information that you've shared with all of us. I would also like to thank all the wonderful audience who've shown interest in learning and making informed decisions before entering the crypto market. I see a lot of you all have not downloaded the CryptoWire app. Kindly do that today and be a part of the global learning. We request all of you, please uh, share your feedback uh, for the session so we can enhance our sessions better. Thank you so much, Arman. It was a great session. Thank you. Thank you thank for you having me so here. It was a pleasure. Bye. Same here. Pleasure for all ours. Sir. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.